Hello from the National Weather Service in Pocatello, Idaho. This is the Southeast Idaho Weather Hazard Briefing for Sunday, June 2nd. I'm going to start off again looking at our satellite imagery this morning. See the same features circulating over California and Nevada that we've seen over the last couple of days. This upper low just kind of circulating there, bringing up a little bit of moisture from the south. And we're seeing some showers uh, developed uh, early this morning over the uh, uh, Utah Idaho border and those kind of moved north we even got a little bit of lightning out of that in the early morning hours that has uh, started to uh, dissipate and should continue to dissipate as we head into the uh, mid morning up around uh, through around sunrise radar this morning showing those uh, showers kind of crossing uh, over I-86 uh, and then just kind of uh, fizzling out as they approach into the snake plane so uh, once again, all this activity is going to uh, continue to uh, dissipate throughout the rest of the morning. Probably see some of that res uh, resurgence of the uh, showers and thunderstorms again this afternoon, very much like we've seen over the last couple of days. So here's the uh, weather map for today. Uh, basically some uh, fairly widespread uh, uh, areas of uh, showers and thunderstorms in the uh, Great Basin all the way from uh, Salt Lake and uh, all the way up into Salmon, Idaho. Uh, those areas probably see some isolated showers, thunderstorms throughout the day. And here's the uh, radar uh, forecast radar from a uh, weather model that we're seeing some of those showers moving up out of the south, uh, developing uh, into uh, fairly intense uh, showers, uh, or showers and maybe some thunderstorms as they uh, approach uh, the uh, I-86, uh, I-15, areas there so uh, just kind of be on the lookout for that nothing ex uh, severe expected today might see some uh, small hail once again maybe some gusty outflow winds but again nothing uh, no real uh, widespread severe weather is anticipated throughout the uh, day today highs today be fairly nice up in the uh, 70s continuing uh, through the uh, next couple of days uh, as we see some uh, warm temperatures being brought up from the south uh, this is the uh, weather map for uh, for tomorrow uh, again, once again we're going to see some isolated showers thunderstorms throughout the uh, uh, southern Idaho uh, but we do uh, see a little bit of a change in the forecast as we head into uh, uh, Tuesday we do have a little bit of a front that's going to be moving through uh, it's going to start to clear out as that passes through the area but uh, overall maybe still seeing some light showers isolated thunderstorms over the eastern parts of the state uh, we look ahead to Friday, there's going to be another uh, fairly strong weather system that looks like it might be moving through the area. Uh, this cold front uh, will be past us on Friday, but uh, the winds behind that look like they're going to they're be pretty strong. Uh, we don't anticipate any, uh, any wet weather conditions, uh, but uh, the winds are going to be pretty strong uh, behind that front. Uh, 20 to 30 miles an hour is a conservative estimate right now, but uh, We'll uh, be fine-tuning the forecast as we head into the rest of the week. So once that cold front has moved through, we're going to see some cooler temperatures here on Friday and Saturday. Uh, right here on the on the map, our temperatures down in the 60s and 70s, dropping a few degrees here as we head into Saturday. So it's going to be a little bit cooler as we head into the weekend, and uh, just uh, be prepared for that. Um, don't think I have anything else for you. Just uh, if you have any questions, give us a call. I'll leave some feedback uh, if you like at the email ad email address on the screen. Or you can go to weather.gov slash Pocatello to get a more detailed forecast. Thanks for listening.